Hey, 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 everybody! Mr. Viola here, and welcome back to our, uh, what, Primal Fear on the Crystal Owl series, of course. Uh, yeah, just having a little bit of a dance on my a new, well, it's not so much of a new Alpha Pteranodon, but the saddle on his back sure is. Yeah, baby! We're up in the skies at last! And we're flying around. Ain't nothing can stop us. Ain't nothing can touch us now! Oh, wait, aside from the two massive Apex level bosses that are chilling just off the shore from my base. Yeah, things are getting a little heated out here in the old tropical isles, or at least the, well, yeah, this is, I guess, the tropical isles of the crystal isles, the tropical crystal isles, I don't know, either way, yeah, the, these things are getting a little bit too close for comfort, I'm not gonna lie. First, it was the little pack of spiders, we didn't know where they came from originally, um, but, but now we do, they came out of the buttocks, or, but they, they just came out of this guy, okay, this, this giant apex brood mother decided to hatch, yeah, spiders. And nobody likes spiders. I especially don't like spiders. They give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> no, they definitely give me goosebumps. I do not like spiders one bit. I freak out. I freeze. I shiver. I don't know what to do when I see them. But then, on top of that, we end up with this big old beast accidentally by our at, by our beach. Uh, we killed a triceratops uh, that was tormenting us and the wildlife in the area. And then out of nowhere, this guy just decides to point his head out. Also, wait, what? Wait, no. You stole my health potions! All of them or just some of them? Okay, no, just nine. Uh, okay, you know what? You know what? I ain't taking that no more. I, I get revenge now. Stick. I can't even hit this thing. What is going on with this Ichithornis? I do not like Ichithornises. You know, it's too late anyways. We're not getting them back. They're not like Pegamastaxes. They steal your stuff and then they just gobble it straight up. Anyways, the point that I'm getting to is we're going to have to start taking these things a little bit more seriously. Starting off by, you know what? No, I ain't taking your bullying, buddy. I ain't taking that. I'm not hitting this. He stole my raw meat. That I can't hit it. No, stop stealing my stuff. I okay. There we. All right. You know what? It's a lost cause. It's a lost cause. You know what? We'll take. We'll take the fight to the ground. Stinking itchy thornus. Literally, my mortal. En my mortal enemy. Look at him. Look at him. He's, he thinks. He thinks. He thinks he's got it. He thinks he's got this. Hey, buddy. Come on. I dare ya. I dare ya. Take one of them. I missed it. No, not my 73 healing shoes. No, no. That's where I draw the line, buddy. That's where I draw the line. You know how long I spent crafting up those 73 stews? Oh, I think we've just lost them, though. Guys, attack. Attack this piece of trash. Get him, both of yous. Fight for our honor. We've got nothing left to fight for. <laughs> Aside from those healing stews, that's literally all I got. But uh, guys, welcome back. It's been a it's been a hectic first week of this series. I don't even know what to say on the matter. It's been it's been terrible. It's been terrible. We've uh, we've lost a lot of dinosaurs. We've lost a lot of lives ourselves. We've even lost our base, and now I've lost all of my healing stews. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Unless you've got them on you. No, we literally lost them all. Oh, due to my own stupidity, my, my own inaccuracy with the bowler. Uh, but now this is pretty much all we've got. We've got a nice little humble abode on the beach. Um, no, I don't know where the Brachiosaurus, that, that Trump trounce, my old base went. He's kind of decided to just bugger off. He did what he needed to do. He set us back a couple episodes. He wiped out my base. And now all I have, or from the existing base at least, is this platform and a couple walls and a gate. A gate that, that stops nothing. It's not even a gate. It's a gateway with no gate inside of it. Look at this. What's this protecting? What is this meant to protect? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We'll say hello. Oh, this is where my cursed raptor died. <laughs> oh, that's even sadder. Anyways, this is where we're at. And I feel like this place is a bit of a ticking time bomb. I mean, we all know this. Let me just go and get rid of this. This is annoying me. Uh, it's a bit of a ticking time bomb in the sense that we might be safe for the time being literally right this second but how long is that gonna last when you've got an apex brood mother just over there you've got a giant uh whatever that giant red glowing dodo rex skeleton was you got that over there as well we really need to start well either protecting ourselves protecting our dinosaurs or just i don't know getting out of here really that's all there really is to it but i figured we can start off by at least getting some proper armor up and running currently we're still only repping a pair of leggings that are about to break and a helmet I mean, the helmet's actually doing not too bad. Um, but we got a couple, like, we got resources now. So we, we at least got options. So I think what I'm going to do, I think we could even look into these, to be honest. You know what? Let me just grab all of these um, Primal Fear blueprints. We've also got the Primal Pike fabricated rifle and another Primal Pike. 
Uh, I just want to see what we got here and we can work out exactly, well, if we can craft some of this stuff or not. Uh, we also got a bunch of flax stuff as well. I think I also managed to get some boots the other day. I did. So we can actually have a little bit of extra protection in that sense too. And Picon, the creator of the mod, actually uh, told me to just craft a primal pack full stop because it'll be a lot more, it'll be a lot better than our iron poison spear apparently. So maybe we should look into doing that as well. But basically, yeah, I wanted to drop all of these over here just for the time being, just to see if we could actually craft any of this stuff up because we're slowly starting to collect uh, a bunch of blood. Ugh, I've only got 35 Apex blood. So we're not going to be doing much in the Apex department, um, but maybe the alpha alpha stuff we can get. I think we can craft these. We might need a little bit more metal. We, we can actually go and get that now that we can actually travel without having to run through like the infested forests of exploded dodos. The dodos that explode in our face and kill my dinosaurs. At least we can fly straight over the top now. So that's, that's an option. In fact, maybe that's what we'll do right now. Let's go and collect some metal. In fact, let's go and find out where the metal is. I believe, because this is where we always get lost. We always get lost on this mission. I go that way. I'm pretty sure the metal is literally just over here. I don't even think it's that far. Um, maybe it's just because it's so glowy over here. Maybe I just lose my way. Because it's like, you, literally, you stare over in this direction. It is so darn bright. In fact, you look in all the directions. It's just so white no matter where you'd be looking. Kind of kind of just hurts your eyes. It hurts your eyes. It really does. Uh, but hey, if you guys are still enjoying the series, which I think a lot of you are, I know I am, and I hope you guys are, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. And hey, while you're at it, go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so. I'm sure you guys know by now. I say it enough. We are aiming for 750,000 subscribers by the end of this year. In fact, earlier than the end of the year, by the 12th of November, to be quite specific. And I think it's going to happen. But I don't want to get ahead of myself just yet. It's looking good, but it's not definite. We still got a long way to go. Anyways, we're getting a ton of metal already. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I've been waiting for. So good. So good. Boom, boom. So good. I got you. And this guy here can carry a ton of weight as well. So we're not even in that. Okay, what is this raptor? Let me just take a little peeky over here. This might be the raptor that I actually kind of got myself, that I got to kill me the other day. Yeah, it's the dreadful raptor. Let me just go on. Yeah. Ooh. Wait a second. What did I just get? We got a chest piece. Nice. A 600 armor chest piece. Plus 100% durability and plus 100% armor from regular flak. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, nice. Man, I should go kill more dreadful dinosaurs. If that's the type of loot we're going to be getting. I'll say, hey, buddy. I don't know what this one here is. Are you an alpha or an apex? <gasps> apex. Ooh. I was just talking about how I need some apex blood. Uh, wait, I forgot to check how much health it's got, but it probably shouldn't matter. Because we can just, like, knock it back constantly. And we should be A. Oh. Hey. Nice. And more blueprints. More blueprints. Lots of more blueprints. Okay. Well, let's harvest him. See how much blood we get. Five. You serious? I thought we'd get a little bit more than that. All right. That's <laughs> that's really disappointing. That's okay. Though. That is what it is. We're going to head in here, though. Uh, we got a few more little metal rocks that we can harvest. Also. Gotta be careful of these guys. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill this guy. It's just an ordinary Brontosaurus. This is my this is my way of getting revenge on the entire species of Brontos, Brach, Brachios, just the sauropods in general. They've taken everything from me. Well, not really. They really only took my base and a lot of my dinosaurs. Doesn't matter. Regardless of what they took, they took something from me, and I gotta get revenge on them. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm still so hurt about the amount that we've lost to these big old fellas stomping around on my base. They betrayed the trust. They they betrayed our truce. I let them stop. No, it's not. All right, you know what? Let's be real. I didn't let them stomp around. I had no choice. What was I meant to do to stop them? They're bigger than me. They do more damage than me. They'd be dealing like 22,000 damage a hit like I had the choice. Like it was my decision. No. I had no choice. I let them stomp around. But as a result, I thought, hey, we'll keep the peace, you know? We'll, we'll remain friends. We'll all be a-okay. -okay. Yeah. Well, it was up until they decided, yeah, not anymore. Now I feel like stomping on your face. And they got away with it too. Yeah, what are you going to do? Let's head back home though. We've got enough metal now to hopefully go and smelt this stuff up. And if we're really, really lucky, uh, we should be able to get us some nice protected armor. I hope so, at least. Anyways, that, that'd just be fantastic if we could. 
still a little bit scared of these guys down here too. These alpha... Ooh. I wonder if I could take on this alpha ghastly raptor down here. It's a relatively low level. Ooh. This could be the day of revenge. Just getting revenge on all the dinosaurs that have killed us and our friends along the way. These guys here have tormented me for quite some time. This is just one. There's a whole bunch of them over there as well. We're going to ignore those ones. This one right here. I wonder if we could do it. I don't have my healing stews anymore, which kind of concerns me. But let me just... All right. Ghastly Drain. There it is. So he's he's sapping my health without it even... No. No, 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 no. Without even touching me. He just, he just took us down 2,000 health. And my dinosaurs don't heal up that fast either. So I, I, think, I think we're better off just playing it safe for now. I think we're definitely better off just playing it safe. At least for right this second. So let's get all of our metal into here. We, we just collected like an absolute ton of the stuff. Uh, and then we can grab some wood as well while we're at it. I only need a little bit. Pull it across and light it up. So 1,900 we just collect. Wait, exactly? That's actually like such a rounded number. I can't believe that. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, and then we got, like, one left over. Wow! That's actually a pretty good pull, then. Not bad at all. All right, I'll take it. So, 1,900 metal. It's going to smelt out to be about 950, uh, which is a pretty good number, if you ask me. Also, damn! Ascendant Compound Metal Bow. Not that I can craft it, but it's handy to have nonetheless. I think this, though, is what we got to save up for. This is what we got to shoot for right this second. 250 metal, 125 obsidian, and then... Ooh, 41. Okay, what do I actually need? I only need that. 200 metal. I need obsidian and some potent narcotics. Well, what do we need to craft potent narcotics? Narcotics? Narcoberry seeds! No! I just dropped all of my narcoberry seeds when I was organizing my base. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No. <laughs> I literally just dropped all of my seeds. All right, that's that. We got to get us a herbivore. We need a herbivore. That's just, that, that's all there is to it. I need something that can collect me berries and seeds. Yeah, that's really, really, really what we need. The only thing is we still need a good source. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all of these alpha eggs. So many alpha eggs, but no toxic eggs. I wonder if... Hold on a second. Let me just have a little peek in here, okay? Apex kibble, okay? Oh, I can't craft apex kibble yet. Of course I can't. I gotta be a high level. We're gonna be level 50 to craft that. I am level 47. Sorry, 43. It's gonna be 47 in a second. So, let me just do this real quick. That gets me to 47. Three more levels, and I'll be able to craft Apex Kibble. And as a result, tame up some Apex Dinos. Okay, this guy here is just smashing out eggs. I love it. All right, fine. Fine, fine. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me have... Wait. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can actually fast track this a little bit here, okay? Give me a toxic kibble. Two toxic kibbles. All right. Two toxic kibbles. Good start. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this toxic kibble. I'm going to shove it in the first toxic dodo that I can find. With that, I'm going to take toxic, do toxic dodo home. We've had two of these guys in the past. They they both, they always die really, really quickly. But now that there's no more giant Brachiosaurus stomping around in our face, they might live a little bit longer. Last place I saw some toxic dodos was over in this direction. So... Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is one of the guys who used to stomp around at our base, but he's friendlier than... I think he's friendlier anyways. I never had any issues with the, the fabled fella. It was only the alpha one that really caused those dramas. Um, can I just try and loot this, though? Level... F Yet another reason we must reach level 50, apparently. All right. Still on the search for a toxic dodo, though. Let's see what we can find over here. I know that I found some over here not too long ago. Hmm. I see an alpha dodo. You know what? Although I'm not looking to tame him, I'm going to come and kill him. Because I need that blood. Thank you very much for your alpha blood. We can put that towards some armor. But doesn't solve our search for a toxic dodo, does it? Oh, bomb dodo! <laughs> I see you down there. And that's why I'm glad to be in the sky. Yeah, we ain't getting we ain't getting blown up by no bomb dodos today. No explodey dodos. At least if I can help it. Is that what I'm looking for? It is what I'm looking for. A 560. <gasps> it needs two toxic kibble to tame up though. Ooh, okay. I think I actually I crafted two. Oh! No! No! Not my apex boot! No! Oh you pile of trash! Get back here! Get back here, pick up my sticks! Oh, these stinking things! Come on, come on, come on. I need them boots back. 
Well, not that it's a pair of boots, but it's blueprint. Might come in handy at some point. Thank you. Oh, these stinking guys, man. These stinking guys. Did I get them at least? I did, but... Ghastly Raptor is relative, uh, a little bit too close to the old toxic fella that I'm about to try and craft up. So, at risk of getting myself killed, I'm going to try and lure the Raptor over here. Yeah, I guess that'll do it. Now I just got to lose him. We'll loop back around. We'll grab the dodo. Hopefully pick it up. Carry it back home. Get some nice eggs out of it. And then we shall be able to tame up some alphas, hopefully, if all goes according to plan. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Okay, okay. We still got this angry fella chasing us around. Or not. Why would you have to stop right there? Can you not? Because you're going to end up attacking my dodo. All right. Now we're just getting... We're getting a little bit comfortable. Why is he... Stay away from my dodo! Wait, can I just pick up the dodo? Oh, we can. Oh, that's one way to do things, I suppose. <laughs> it's a little bit less risky. I'll just take him and carry him, like, right next to base. And we'll just... We'll just tame him up over here. Yeah! All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Passive. Everybody passive. Don't know why he changed his mind and decided not to attack just then, but I'm not going to quit. Nope. He's still going to go for it. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just pop him in the head with one of these, right? I should get the job done. Maybe two of them. Wow. These arrows actually do quite a bit of torpor over time. Nearly went all the way, too. All right, that'll... Maybe. All right. I kind of... I don't, I don't want to waste another arrow. I think I have to anyways. Ah. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. One last shot. There we go. Go to sleep, you banana. Wait, really? Yeah, there it goes. Just took a little bit of time to go down. That's all. All right, cool. Two kibble into you. Actually, is it a female? I didn't even check it is. Oh, lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay, got nice. That, I guess increases the speed and whatnot but there we go get both of them into here and we have finally another source of toxic eggs i just hope that he lays them fast because i want i want those alpha eggs oh i thought that was going to be one right there and then that would have been fantastic if it was but we're not that lucky well now that our metals had a little bit of time to smelt up we should actually be able to do some stuff over here i would think can i craft these up I need some nice boots. Do I need boots? Yeah, I did. I do need a nice pair of boots. I'm still missing 39 metal ingots. What? Oh, I guess. Yeah, they are quite expensive. Okay, that makes sense. All right, we can wait. That's not too bad. These are both Apex, so that's that's fine. We could get a helmet. No, that's the helmet we've already got. Oh, wow. Okay. So, do I really not like... Oh, this guy does not waste any time. Oh, I like you. Oh, you're one of the good ones. Okay. Do you have any nice... Um, Thing of my bobbies over here. You got some blood. You got some of that. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and these ones here, which are also Apex, so I can't really do anything with them, but still handy to have nonetheless. Cool. So I think what we're going to try and craft up here, I do want to get us one of these pikes. Oh, we still need obsidian. Well, maybe we go looking for obsidian right now. We've got some eggs. So like, I mean, we got we got to wait for our metal to smelt anyways. We've got, we've got at least one toxic egg. We can use that up. Oh, I thought that was going to be another one there for a second. Let's go find some obsidian. Oh, Alpha Pteranodon. I know I should probably, like, get some healing stews crafted up, like, before taking this guy out. But what's the worst that could happen? Like, we're not going to... We're not going to endanger ourselves too badly on this adventure, I wouldn't think. I just want to, you know, for the first time this season, leave this tropical area. I can't believe we're actually about to do it. I kind of don't want to. I'm kind of like on the edge. Do we really want to do it? This is this is a defining moment right here. Right, before we do anything, let me just add this level to your movement speed. And I've got I've got a level of my own as well. Check that into move. Why did I put that in my own movement speed? It doesn't matter. We're finally for the first time leaving the tropics. We got to like commemorate this momentous occasion. Here we go. Oh, Alpha to Red are done. We've done it. We've done it! <laughs> that was the most anticlimactic moment ever. Uh, yeah, we've left the tropics. Not for long. Not for long. Just long enough that we can find some obsidian, hopefully. I don't even know where to go looking for the stuff, but I feel like this looks like an um, obsidian type of location, right? <laughs> this is actually, this would be a sick base location. Nice and away from Brachiosauruses and anything else that might want to spawn on my face and kill us. 
Uh, but no obsidian. No obsidian. So, nope. I don't like this place no more. Not if there is no obsidian. Uh, oh, no, look. We got, we got Brachius. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't like this place all of a sudden. Oh, I don't like this place one bit. You guys just caught that explosion, right? Um, I don't know what it was. But I'm happy staying up here because exploded. No, 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 no. Exploding dodos is spawning in the area. So I'm getting my butt out of here. <laughs> Whoa, it's so wee. Oh, oh. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> As you do? Oh, snap. I forgot this mod had the Titans in it. Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. I was literally about to say. It's amazing, like, going around these areas and actually encountering different dinosaurs and creatures that we haven't encountered yet this season. And then out of nowhere, the forest titan just spawns right in front of my eyes. Oh, my gosh. This is the guy that actually had my attention. The prome therizinosaur. Uh, but no. Then this guy here just decides to just spawn right next to me. Oh, that is bizarre. That is crazy. That is, that is insanity. Um, also, hello. Primal Raptor. Ooh, ooh. Okay. All right. Uh. Yep. Okay. You, you go to the center, buddy. I ain't. I ain't stopping you. You go do what you got to do. Okay. Go for it. Would you have a look at this? Ooh. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Turns out we're actually really close to Obsidian after all. That entire time, right above the Raptor as well. The only thing is, um, what is going on over here? That's what I'm a little cautious about. We have an Alpha. Ooh. Ooh, I do need to tame one of them. But there's also a dreadful mantis down there too. Well, I just so happen to be kind of lacking in a certain one of these resources that these guys have. I need chitin. Chitin just seems to be one of those things we just do not have any of lately. So I'm coming in here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the spoils. Oh, great. I completely forgot insects even exist in this game, but hey, there we go. I haven't missed them, I'll tell you that much. But we finally, uh, let's say we've, we've finally satisfied our uh our chitin needs 851 of the stuff um and there is Enosaur. oh you would come in so so handy at getting my base well rebuilt i suppose but what are you it's pavilonius all right let me just do that hmm oh 91 medjo berries there's also something else a dreadful one behind it i don't know what's meant i don't know what the difference between these two are though I don't know if a Pavilonius or a Dreadful is actually like higher tier, but you know what? We're not we're not looking for either of those right this second. I think for now, we're just going to ignore the spooky music <laughs> that we probably shouldn't be ignoring. And we're going to collect some obsidian because that's what we need right now to get us a nice old primal pike. And to be honest, once we have a primal pike, maybe we can even come back and knock out one of these Therizinosaurs. We're not actually too far from home. So we do have, I guess, an opportunity here to uh, fly back home. Craft up a primal pike. Ugh, that music is terrifying. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just ignore the music. Ignore the spooky music. As long as it is the raptor down there and it's nowhere near us, we should be fine. All right, I think that's actually most of the obsidian harvested. I'll have to double check. We also got a little bit of metal out of this as well. So fancy that. 962. I think that's I think that's more than enough, to be honest. You know what, though? I'm going to collect the metal. I'm going to collect the metal. We'll chuck it home. and we'll, we'll take it home. We'll chuck it in the forge. We'll craft ourselves up a primal pike. And I may very well come back here. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Ignore that. Scrap that all together. I'm going to see right this second if I can just pick up one of these Therizinosaurs and carry it a little closer to home. Because that would just save us all, well, an entire trip. The question is, do we go for the Pavilonius level 380? Or, actually, there's a whole buttload of them up here. Or the Dreadful. I think the Dreadful is going to be stronger. But, actually, there's a friendly Dodo Rex up here as well. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, what now? Where's the friendly Dodo Rex? That little thing! <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. That's what we needed in our life. Wait a second. Can you even tame it? Tameable. Passive. Gaia mushrooms. I don't have Gaia mushrooms. No. I was going to say you can't actually knock it out. It doesn't have a top or meter. Uh, all right. All right. You know what? Even though it's looking like the dreadfuls might be a little stronger. 
I think I'm going to go for the Pavilonius just based on looks alone. I also don't think I've ever tamed up a Pavilonius dinosaur before or creature. Um, but they just look cool. And now that I'm decided that, I actually can't find it. Where did the Pavilonius one go? I can only see dreadful ones. Uh, hello? Pavilonius? Where did you go? Oh, there he is. All right, let's see if we can pick him up anyways. Nope, can't pick it up. So if we were to, in fact, want to knock it out and tame it up. Oh, it's actually quite a way to fly it home, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we won't be able to carry it. So no Therizinosaurs are getting tamed up today, unfortunately. But at least we know that, uh, well, we know where to find them if we do want them. We also knew where to avoid because there's a lot of deadly creatures over there. All right. Back to the tropics. That was a nice little venture away from comfort. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure it won't be for long. I'm sure we'll be back out there before you know it. But now though, this primal pack, I need it in the palm of my hand. Whee! I got to put more levels into speed, don't I? It's just not fast enough. All right. There we go. I already see some toxic eggs. This one. Eh, it's better than nothing. That's okay. Cool, 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 cool. So, here we go. Nope. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Let's just craft this baby up. So, 264%. Can I craft this one? <gasps> Potent narcotics. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I did. I did indeed forget about that. Oh, so I still need a herbivore so we can get the, the old... Uh, we've got to get narco berry seeds. I forgot about that. Oh, man. But I guess it doesn't stop us from crafting up. No, wait, toxic kibble? No, I need alpha kibble. Oh, you dummy. What are you doing? I'm sure the toxic kibble will come in handy at some point. If ever we want like a second toxic dinosaur to then like speed up the progress of us, you know, uh, getting toxic eggs for alpha kibble. It'll come in handy. But uh, yeah, we're meant to be crafting up alpha kibble, not toxic kibble. That way we can like tame up a, uh, like an alpha, what do you call it? Like an alpha track. Or an alpha striacosaurus. I want, I kind of, yeah. That's what I, that's kind of what I'm kind of shooting for right this second, to be honest. I want an alpha herbivore that we can just use for demolishing all of these berries around us. I feel like that's, that's really the next step we need for our progress here. Oh boy, this, oh, these guys are getting closer and closer and closer. I don't like that. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't like that one bit. The other option is we could just get us an alpha parasaur. They only need three kibble. They've got quite a bit of health. And I imagine they'd, they'd be able to defend themselves a little bit. All I need to do is wait for one little toxic egg. And we'll be able to get us this third little bit of kibble. And then we can we can tame it up right this second. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Come on, Toxic Dodo. It's all up to you now, buddy. It's all up to you. Well, it took a while, but we got there eventually. Damn, that took so much longer than I expected. He actually laid like 20, 20 turds. He did 20 poos before he laid us that one toxic egg. So the rates are still a little bit iffy, but well, actually, no, that's that's beyond what they're meant to be, I suppose. So we can't even argue. We can't even complain. All right, let's go. It's time for our second alpha team already. Feels like once you, as soon as you get the first one, the others kind of just come easily. Also. Hello. Are you another toxic dodo? <gasps> hey, I was literally just saying it, right? I was saying we need a better source, like an extra source of toxic eggs, toxic kibble. So let's just let's just take this guy quickly home and we can we can add a second one to our little army over here. He doesn't even look toxic. That's the bizarre part here. All right, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You're gonna regret it. <laughs> uh, did I have it on me? I think it's in here. There it is. All right, cool, 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 cool. And this one here is only going to require one as well, which is fantastic. All right, get that one there into you. Not even going to wait around. Well, I guess we are. Because it just happened in a heartbeat. All right, don't follow me. Just lay eggs. Also, didn't even just... I forgot to check if it was a male or female. Also, big old... Uh, this guy's getting closer and closer to my base. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But it is what it is. Okay, Alpha Parasaur. Um, oh, this isn't going to go well, but I hope I can bowl you. And I hope nothing decides to come and, you know, interrupt us here. Um, oh, it did. It actually worked. All right. I wasn't expecting that. Also, why is this? What's this? Okay, it's a regular dodo. I got a little bit scared there for a second. But also, 
Um, we've actually got these far better arrows that apparently do 18 times Torpor rather than just the nine times that the other one deals. Also, yes, in the corner of my eye, I can see the Apex Broodmother getting ever closer to us. I'll say he's about to run. Oh, he's going to fight. Oh, he's going to fight. Oh, that's right, is it? Oh, that's right. All right, well, just give me a second. All right, just let me bowl you. There he goes. All right. I don't even know why I was doing that. We kind of didn't have to. Also, Apex Baryonyx. I'm getting my butt out of here real quick because this is going to get nasty. I don't think Apex... Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, yeah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Go attack the Tyranodon. Please don't attack my my Parasaur. Please, 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 please. Please. All right. Follow me. Follow me. Over here, please. Over here. Baryonyx! What are you doing? Leave him alone. Please. No. No, he's going to do it. I knew it. I knew it. No. Oh, I wasted all my arrows for nothing. Oh, you suck, Baryonyx. You suck. I wonder if I can just kill you. I wonder if we can take down our very first Apex boss. Probably shouldn't. I mean, I know I shouldn't. This guy is well out of our, like, uh, well out of our capability. Oh, oh no, 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 no. He's actually going to smash me. I mean, if I keep dropping those attacks on him, I think we'd actually be okay. But as soon as I get down there and we fight 1v1, that's when we get into trouble. Let me just go for my little cheap swipe, swipe down attacks. This is how I fight. <laughs> Sucker punches galore. Ouch. You're not meant to be able to hit me like that. Baryonyx, come back over here. You spoiled my team. I would not let you get away with it without paying the ultimate price. I just got to do it 10 more times. One. And hopefully not run out of stamina. Two. Missed him. Oh, no. What's weird is he won't even follow me to shore. All right, let me get some stamina real quick. All right, let's finish this guy off. This will actually... Oh, got a little nibble on me there. This will actually be such a good takedown if I can manage to get this done. We should get a ton of experience out of it. I'm hoping that my Pteranodon gets a bunch of levels here. All right, come on. Come on. How many more hits do we need? Literally like two hits. What? Why? <laughs> I flew straight through him. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Last hit. Last hit. And we got him. And we got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And just like that, 55 Apex blood. Bunch of Apex hide. Fantastic. And on top of that, some free toxic eggs. Ah, uh, uh, do I do it? I don't have the toxic kibble on me though. All right. Hold on. Oh, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I just take the Zomdodo home with me? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to try and nibble my little toes, but it's fine. We're collecting a little Toxic Dodo army right now. One of them is a little different to the rest, but does it matter? No. Of course not. As long as I drop one of them and see him real quick. Yeah. Actually, were you... It is a female. Of course, it's laying eggs. You're a male. I actually don't know what that means for the production of eggs. I don't know if that means it'll like encourage the other ones to lay more eggs or what the story is but at the end of the day we have us oh what eggs are going to use for this by the way um i don't know if we want to keep these eggs or not i feel like maybe i should leave that and i'll use the alpha egg because we've got so many alpha eggs anyways and they use an alpha egg for a toxic kid well, i think so we'll just do that we'll just do that that sounds good to me and on top of that now that we got those two extra toxic eggs just then by chance, we can uh, we can also... Don't do it, Dilo. Oh, I hate you. Why would you do that? Why would you do it? Why would you just spoil my team like that? Well, at least he didn't get the kill. Get tamed up, little toxic zombie dodo. <laughs> Welcome to the squad. Uh, good luck surviving longer than a day, though, because that seems to be the toughest, the toughest part for this squad over here. But just like that, we've got us at least three toxic. So toxic eggs should be coming out of our... They, well, we should be getting them pretty quickly is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. And with that, we should be able to tame pretty much any alpha dinosaur soon. Especially once these guys start laying eggs a little bit quicker. Which, I mean, now that we've got three of them, two of them hatchable-layable... Uh, we should we should be able to get this done pretty quick. So, unfortunately, we didn't end up being able to get our primal pike. It is what it is. What are you going to do? But we've got five alpha kibble, which means tomorrow we're going to go get us, hopefully, if all goes according to plan, a nice, high-level, powerful 
alpha tame. Maybe even like an alpha brachio or brontosaurus. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be really, really good. In fact, that's ideally what we want to go looking for. But if you did enjoy this video, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. 750k by November 12th. I nearly forgot my own birthday there for a second. But most importantly, have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Fernand!